going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's quick video, I'm going to show you my new updated short curly hair routine. Yeah. I'm going to very quickly just jump to my shower routine. I'm going to show each one of the products and how I apply it very quickly, like a quick Coles Notes version. Um, and then I will go into detail about everything that I do and we'll have like a little chit chat. And to be honest, I'll probably ramble on about something random. So my new motto is when you're watching my shower routine, um, if I talk about the shampoo I'm using, you got to ask yourself, do I already have shampoo? And does it work? And if it works, you don't need to go buy new shampoo. Use the stuff you have until it's gone um, and then try something else. Or buy the same thing over and over and over and over again like I do with my hair gel. But anyway, um, I hope you like this hair routine. I hope you learned something. I'm very glad to be back. Let's get in the shower. So the first part of my routine um, is the washing of my hair. So I wash my hair with warm water. I wash my hair, um, I would say, every one to two weeks with actual shampoo. The majority of the time I just get in and apply my conditioner. Right away I just wet my hair, apply my conditioner, scrub my scalp, um, and I rinse that out because I use products that don't have silicone and other things that build up on the hair. I can get away with that. My hair never looks dirty or greasy. I promise you if you haven't done this before, um, you should try it. It's really great for your hair. Um, but when I do wash my hair with shampoo, I have been using this shampoo bar and I'm going to show it to you up kind of close but I know my camera won't focus on it because of like the cool color pattern. When I got this it actually had like a really beautiful design of, on, of a flower. Sorry I can't talk. Um, it had a beautiful flower design on it. It is from a company called Kappa Cadabra and I knew that it was like a small company. It's a firm in Tennessee and she hand makes these products. This is an amazing shampoo. It lathers, it's moisturizing, it doesn't strip my hair. Um, it's compact, it's a good price, it smells good. It's not like overly scented, has natural ingredients. Um, it doesn't have sulfate in it. It doesn't wash like any other shampoo bar that I've ever used. It feels creamy. If you have run out of shampoo, then this is a great thing to try. It's really cool to support like a small business and it just makes me feel good using this. So this is my shampoo, favorite shampoo that I've used in a really long time. I'm gonna link all of the information below. But as always, I want you to kind of think about or recite my mantra. <laughs> or mantra, or is it a mantra? I don't know. Anyway, I say, I say mantra. Um, but you just want to say to yourself, take a deep breath and say, do I already have shampoo? Does it work? And if the answer is yes, you don't need any more shampoo. Number next, uh, the next thing I do is I condition my hair. And again, this is where it gets a little bit confusing because sometimes I don't use shampoo at all or a shampoo bar at all. I just use conditioner to wash my hair. If you're new to my channel or new to the Curly Girl method, this is gonna take way too long to explain in this video that's supposed to be kind of quick. Um, but sometimes this is my first step. Sometimes I just wash my hair with this conditioner and then uh, rinse it out of my hair and continue with my styling. But in today's video, I washed my hair with shampoo, so it was like a shampoo wash day. And then I conditioned my hair with this. This is actually Tresemme conditioner. Um, it's Tresemme Botanic, so it is silicone-free conditioner. It's inexpensive. I've been using it for years. You've probably seen it in a bunch of my videos. I will link it below. The only thing special that I do now is I do apply the conditioner throughout my hair. So there's a lot of people who say don't apply conditioner to your roots. I just work it all the way through my hair. I probably use like a palm full of conditioner and sometimes I will kind of tip my head forward under the water and scrunch the water through my hair a little bit and then my hair starts to form almost like little curl clumps in the shower already. Uh, and that's how I apply my conditioner and I'll link the information about this conditioner below. But again, do you have conditioner? Is it working for you? If the answer is yes, you probably don't need this conditioner. Step number three has to do with your styling products and I have been starting with a styling cream. 
So like I said, I let the water kind of run through my hair. I kind of scrunched some of the conditioner out of my hair in the shower. So my hair is still dripping wet. I'm still in the shower. My hair products are always in the shower. You know that. Um, and then I will add a little bit of styling cream to my hair. I probably only use about that much. And I really thin it out like in my hands. That's too, I can tell that's too much already. So I put a little bit of water in there and I really thin it out. And then I spread it over my hair. I still kind of use the praying hands technique. So I start at the roots and I, even though my hair is short, I just kind of spread that through my hair. And then I scrunch it into my hair. And then I move on to the gel. So I do use a two-step styling process. I use hair cream and gel. Um, when I'm in a big rush, sometimes I'll just mix the hair cream and the gel in my hands together and apply them together. It works pretty much the same. I only use a tiny bit of hair cream. I really water it down. Um, and right now I'm using this uh, Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. Had this for years. The reason I love this is because it's in a big bottle and it was like filled to the top with product and it was inexpensive. Can you guess what gel I'm using? <laughs> I'm still using this BioTerra gel and I'm obsessed with it. I get it at Sally. It is the product that I used in my very first video that I shot four years ago. In the last four years I've used a million different kinds of gels and some of them were pretty good um, but I just love this one and I would say 85% of the people that watch my videos that buy this gel message me and say that they love it. I do get the odd person that doesn't. Um, or they'll say that it either, they couldn't get a cast at all, um, or the gel was like, gave them too much of a cast. And I feel like that has to do with where you live, if you have hard water or soft water or well water, um, and the other products that you're using. But for the most part, this is like a no brainer, love this product, love this product. Um, and they now have a hypoallergenic, um, for sensitive skin and, and scalp. It says no fragrance, parabens and dyes. So this is again, um, like an alcohol free, silicone free gel made by the same company. I'll see if I can focus on that. But this is the hypoallergenic version, allergenic version. And, um, it comes in a smaller bottle. As far as drying goes, it depends on how much time I have and what I'm doing that day and how good I want my hair to look. So basically, when I get out of the shower, no matter what, I either um, wrap a t-shirt around my head or I use one of these microfiber towels and this is still wet um, from when I did my hair earlier. Um, but this is the towel by The Perfect Hair Care. You can get these online. I love this. Um, again, you don't need this. You can use a t-shirt, but these were sent to me probably last year sometime, and they're just really great, and I've gotten the habit of using them, uh, and I love them. So I do either wrap my hair in this or in a t-shirt um, for a few minutes and then kind of squeeze and scrunch some of the excess water out of my hair with uh, this or the t-shirt. The and then sometimes I will leave my house for the day like that with wet hair, uh, let my air, hair air dry. And it pretty much turns out exactly like this. I just find it's a little bit flatter or a little bit like too defined or maybe seems like it has a bit more gel in it than when I diffuse my hair a little bit. So that's what I prefer the most now. So I will either plop or squeeze the water out of my hair and like putter around the house, make breakfast for my kids or do whatever. Um, and then I will diffuse my hair for like 10 minutes and that's when my hair looks the best. This is what my hair turns out like um, for the most part. Uh, we all know that curly hair is unpredictable depending on the weather. Sometimes I have a frizzier hair day or something like that. But for the most part, this is what my hair turns out like. The only thing that I do after I go through that process is I always pin back one side of my hair. This is just the way I like to style my hair. It's kind of hard to see the shape with the dark couch in the background, but I'll get closer. So this is um, the way I wear my hair. It's kind of more curly on one side. Uh, and then I pin this side back, which does kind of straighten my hair out a little bit, but I just like the way that looks. Sometimes I'll use a claw clip or a bobby pin. 
and I'm going to show you the back of my hair. It's probably not great. I'm going to show it to you in natural light too because this, I feel like this light is really flattering. Um, so I'm going to pop outside for a sec. I really hope you like this video. Uh, my next video is going to be something very random, very self-indulgent. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do like a house tour video or if I'm going to do a plant video or like a house tour, plant tour, kind of all wrapped in one video. Um, and the reason I'm making that video is because it's kind of what I'm interested in right now. So plants have become my new hobby and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who got into plants a little bit more during the pandemic because you're home and you're stuck in your house all the time and it was just very calming to bring nature into my home and uh, it just really changed the way I feel about my home. The other reason I want to do a house tour is because I find like if you look at a house tour on YouTube a lot of the time it's like really big lavish kind of mansion-y homes and they're very staged. So I will clean my house. It'll be cleaner than it normally is. Um, but I just want to do a house tour because I really love my home, but it's not like a typical YouTuber house. I live in a very small, basic house. Um, but I did a lot to it over the last couple of years and I really feel like it's finally my style and I really love it. So uh, again, self-indulgent, but I know I like to watch these videos for, um, from people that I follow. So some of you might be interested in this and I'm either going to tie it in with the plants um, or I'm going to do two separate videos. But that's what I'm going to do next. If you're not interested in that, don't watch it. There will be more hair videos. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them in the comments section below. If you made it this far to the end of the video, congratulations. Um, I do talk a lot. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.